what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can tell by the title of this video today i am making over my pantry i'm doing a little shelf cover up on the wire brackets and it came out super super nice so i can't wait for you guys to watch the rest of this video and see how i did it but if you have not already make sure you enter my cash giveaway i'm going to give away 100 dollars on cash app or whatever you know is the best platform for the receiver or the winner so all you have to do to enter is follow all of the instructions in the description box below you just have to make sure you are subscribed to me make sure you are subscribed to chris's channel and make sure you are subscribed to my sister's family channel so that's all you have to do and then comment down below when done with your instagram name and your cash app handle so if you want to win some fast money make sure to enter the giveaway but without further ado let's get into the video so going to head to some stores to pick up some supplies that we need and yeah yeah i've been wanting to do this for some time now and my pantry is a complete mess this is what my pantry looks like now so, you know, regular pantry, just got a lot of stuff. So, gonna get all the supplies that we need and then um, we'll come back, clean it all out, throw things away that I don't need anymore that's old and, you know, get to the DIY project. So yeah, stay tuned. So, right now we are in the Lowe's parking lot, ready to get all of the supplies. So this is the, I'm showing my mom the project that we're doing because I obviously have not shown her yet. Basically covering up, I'll put some pictures here, covering up the wire of the racks that are in the pantry with like wood. I'm going to get some contact paper instead of staining it because I don't feel like staining it. So I'm going to get some wood colored looking contact paper from Target and we can put it over it. Okay. And then just getting some containers and stuff to put some of my pantry items in. That's what we're going to do, Mama. That sounds nice. I think I'm going to like that. So at Lowe's, I found a flooring underlayment because I couldn't find a piece of plywood large enough, but this was only $21 and it was just enough for me to cut into the four pieces that I needed for the length of my wire racks. And if you don't know this already, Lowe's has a wood cutting station where the associates will help you basically cut pretty much any wood uh, piece that you need. So I brought it over there and just had this underlayment piece cut into the four pieces that I needed. So I got that cross off the list and then I went looking for the pine board pieces. So this was about two inches wide, I think I would say, yeah. Um, and I just measured it up to my newly cut pieces to make sure that it would be the exact size that I wanted. So I ended up going with this one. Um, I got four of these pieces and brought them back over to the cutting station and um, got them cut to the length of the board. Now moving over to Target to find the contact paper. So right away I found the one that I wanted. So I was contemplating between this like brown marble one and the wood look one. I ended up just sticking with the wood as my initial, you know, pick. Made it back to the humble abode and it's time. So what we're gonna do is maybe we could take that tote and put some of the groceries and stuff in it so we can throw away anything that is expired or anything that I don't want anymore. Throw that away, then we're gonna take all of these shelves off. Then do all of the shelf um, woodwork and that's pretty much it. This should be a pretty easy and simple fast DIY. So I'm excited. Ready mom? Mm -hmm. So at this point, I just needed to remove all of the wire um, racks that were in there existing. So my mom just helped me pop them out. Then once I had them all out, I actually got this motion sensor light from Home Depot. And I didn't show you guys me getting this, but basically it's battery operated and all you have to do is mount it into the wall. So this is me drilling some holes um, and then twisting the light on. So since I didn't have an existing light in there, this was a nice little touch. Oh, 
For this next part, all you need is the plywood or the underlayment cut, the pine wood that's gonna go on top of it, your contact paper of choice, some scissors, and a nailer, brad nailer, or you can just um, put in finishing nails with your hammer yourself. I am so sorry for the switch up in camera quality. My camera ran out of storage, so I had to switch over to a phone. So sorry about that. But basically you just line up the pieces as you see here and nail them together. Some people use wood glue. I skipped that part and it worked perfectly fine. From this point, we have our covers. If you want, you could leave it like this or you can add stain. You can do whatever you want, but I decided to use contact paper because I felt like it would be easier, but technically it's kind of wrong. It wasn't that much easier. Yeah. I don't know, to each his own, but yeah. I really like how the contact paper turned out. So this is how you do it with contact paper. As you can see, I laid out the contact paper over my um, little floating shelf thing and then just took my scissors and cut off the piece that I needed. If you have any type of like flat tool squeegee type of thing, um, that's super helpful. But basically just peeling back the contact paper because it's adhesive. And this was actually a really good contact paper. It didn't wrinkle up too, too bad and it was easy to correct. Um, but just laying that down and then smoothing out as I go. So really just finding your um, groove in it because it did take me some time. But yep, just smoothing everything out. And then after that, just uh, folding over the pieces over the edges um, and the hanging sides and really treating it like a present, like I'm wrapping a gift, um, using tape to secure any pieces because this is not showing, so I didn't really care about, you know, the tackiness of using tape. This is what it should look like. Oh, looks so good, yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish all the others and then we can put this up and put all of our groceries back before and after of the shelf. So all we have to do is put these shelves right back into their little areas and put the covers on top. So this part is optional. I just put some extra wood pieces to cover a little um, space that I had in the back because my light was shining through. So that's completely optional, but just showing you guys what I did. Next, using some of these containers that I got from Dollar Tree, I just flipped them over because I wanted to create my own like tiered system for cheap because Target had some, but they were like $18 and I was like, no. So um, yeah, just flipping them over and putting my cans and spices on top of them so that I can easily view everything, you know, like a tiered approach. Then I took this bin and put all of my like more flabby uh, packets type of things like um, muffin mix and things like that and put them in there. Dollar Tree also sold these small square ones so I just took out um, any like loose individual packet candies and things that I had and put them in there. So finishing up my last touches, I finished out putting these letters at the top that I was actually going to use for a different DIY. Um, it says eat and I just propped them against some spices hidden behind them uh, so it would stand up to finish the final look. to this point if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below hashtag pantry makeover or hashtag eat this is my mom's idea to put this up here so shout out to moms 
But yeah, so thanks for watching. If you are not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Turn on your post notifications to be updated every time I upload. And until next time, I will see you guys later.